He's a nice guy. He is. <laughs> Get ready for the news. Oh, no. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, Lord. It is our duty as ever to bring you the late breaking stories of the world. And so we come to you, serious as we are, girding our loins and an arm jaw as it's time. The good news, the bad news, and the other shit. And then, 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 Yeah. <laughs> I'll do the musical interludes, okay? <laughs> hey, you got a voice like that? I'll do the musical interludes. Okay? <laughs> she said, Mark, can't do no worse than that, huh? You're like, I can't mess that one up. No. I can sing. All right, here's some interesting news. I no, have some interesting news. You, you can sing for Oh, she can sing. Oh, you can. Oh, you can sing. Oh, I know. I've already heard. Let's go ahead. Do it. Why don't you just I say it in here? I haven't heard it. Victor, no. No, 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 no. Don't try to get off like that. I asked you directly because I don't want to hear your voice. I sang last week. Come on, sing something. You didn't sing last week. You did not sing. You did not sing. I don't recall, but okay. I was doing Jesus on the main line. Now, you know that song. Okay, go. You don't hear that. You heard that. Jesus on the main line. When, when he got he, ready to do the Jesus sports. Jesus is my homie. And he <laughs> scrolled down, and I saw the beautiful man on the screen, and I was humming. Oh, I hear that church I, going. I was, Come on, girl. I was humming. There you go. Ooh. Yeah, I was humming. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was humming. Jesus is on the main line. Now, she Tell him what look you want. <laughs> Just like, Tell him what you want. Hello. Okay. Church. Good what? morning again, everybody. That's right. Oh my God, you <laughs> heard that? We one. got that on Good camera. Good morning. Oh, look at, look at, look at. Ooh, ooh, all day. Ooh, ooh, we might uh -oh. have to have her do some things. She yeah. make me sick. She Alpha. says that doesn't sound right. She got a beautiful some, voice. I'll get you some amoxicillin, well, baby, you got because that right. it's contagious. Oh. God got to spread it around. She I'm got so a lovely contagious. voice. You know, she remind me of. She she sound like the era like Lena sings. You know. Oh yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I like my Betsy. Uh, what what is it? Uh, Betsy oh, Johnson. Wow. Oh, wow. They talk and about my, you in the chat room now. Somebody else have got a voice they, like you know that. You need to stop uh, playing. You, you need to stop playing. What's the song with the girl? The lady sings the blues with the girl oh, singing yeah. the song. That's the beautiful song. Good morning, oh, Hardy. No, the other song that she was singing on the record player was sitting there and she was all tripping out and stuff. And the lady was singing the song. What was it? Bessie Johnson, Bessie Smith. Somebody. Uh, Ain't nobody's Mac. business. That's Ain't my nobody's song. Business. Okay. That is my song. All right, I was about to ask Mac. I that know is one of my yeah, favorite Mac songs. Know. Yeah, Ain't nobody's know business. Well, the chat room yeah. says that you may get a track because they said somebody says they smell a collaboration coming. Hey, Thank you, PMC. Hey, Thank hey, you, hey. PMC. They've been known. Right. They've been known. Beat master. Beat master. They've been known. <laughs> oh, nothing I can say. And it's Come long distance. Hey. I'm like shut church. Won't criticize mm. me. Mm. Oh, you may want to so try out for I'm one of the shows then. Do what I want to anyway. Oh my God. All right, you may have to. Okay. And I don't care what people say. Oh, you may want to do this. Somebody thing. need to knock her out. Well, you know <laughs> when you're up here because on this dang show and sitting up here and let nobody know okay. she got you got voice like that in this little video body. You need to stop playing. Well, remember we got shows coming up. Yo, One of the BS shows that's stop playing. in development is the show where they come in and track live I remember, on the yes, air. It's yes, a contest. Yes, yes, they yes. Were doing, they, get, they, get, they, get, they get told ahead of time what top 40 song it is. Okay. And then they come in the studio and they lay it right there. I'm waiting for her to put out a little now, CD or hey, something. Well, <laughs> something, something. In, in the show that's coming up, the, re the, the tracks that they do, they actually are released that's and the artists, yes, share, are. That's artists right. share the revenue. Yes, mm. So yes, that's yes. what we're doing. That's why I thought of that because we can release the tracks yes. and artists will share. Yes, PMC, I'm with you. She does have a beautiful voice. I didn't mm -hmm. know she had that voice like that. Mm. Wow. Secrets. Oh, my phone Secrets. is so wonderful. <laughs> my phone is great. People, it just people. reminded me that my son has his first pediatric appointment tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby, mommy misses you. Shops. That's right. <laughs> no, no, not the need. <laughs> All right, you guys. Story okay. number one. Everybody, well, do folks remember the Reading Rainbow? A lot of folks yes. came up with LeVar Burton and the Reading Rainbow. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, and happen. the show eventually, you know, it had, the show had done really well. Set a number of records. Uh, really was a pioneering show. Yes, it was. Well, the show had been canceled for a while. And so what happened was LeVar Burton actually started a Kickstarter campaign. To get the show Back on refunded. Oh, okay. Okay. So, in doing that, he actually became the fifth most successful crowdfunding effort in the site's history. Over 100,000 backers pledged a total of $5.4 million. Wow. Dollars wow. Pick up. To bring That's Reading amazing. Rainbow back. Wow. Bring this time in a web version. Wow. Just take a listen 
Take a look and see about this, you guys. Abject fear. Um, hard, hard work by everybody in this office. Um, then we launched. And then we sweated. And then it went crazy. I mean, it went nuts. A million dollars on the first day. A million dollars in 11 hours. And then uh, <laughs> it just got better. <laughs> Finally, we did it with a record for most backers ever. I'm LeVar Burton, uh, and I am the, uh, the co-founder and the curator in chief here at RR Kids, the home of Reading Rainbow. Uh, I really feel like this is something that I was born to do, to promote literature and literacy to kids, especially, primarily to kids. Educating America's kids, we used to do so much better of a job of it than we do now. One in four. Because we try. Because America's children about. are growing up to be true. functionally illiterate. We don't try anymore. That's not okay. I, I genuinely believe that that it's all the challenges that we've had that, that have really helped shape this company, um, even more than our successes. It's that which we have overcome. The Reading Rainbow brand um, has been around. We celebrated our 31st anniversary this summer. We've been trying to raise money for a long time, right? We were not getting any traction. We are not getting the kind of response from the venture capital community that we anticipated. We had the number one educational app in the iTunes store. Um, my daughter, who's, who's 20, now um, just kept saying dad dad and she you know she's been with us on this journey you know all of our families have um, they've been with us you know when we were really mm. um, through the day-to-day -day, the struggle you know I thought wow Mika's right this, there's something here there's a there's a, a really um, a developed community of people out there who are willing to back with their dollars. That's Honest. right. Yo, man. Wow. This, and I want you, I invite you to go watch the whole video there because it's, it's, it's rather extensive. But yeah, $5.4 million. We've had Kickstarter campaigns come through here. Remember, Muted the Movie. Yeah. Had yeah. a yeah. successful campaign, too, getting their movie funded. Yeah, we love to point out these things to our amazing. associates, you know. Is. That is absolutely amazing. Remember how it's, it's unique because people try. And again, and a related thing, that's why I'm so proud of the folks here at Pacsteria. What a blessing it is to work with folks where you never, ever have to say work harder. Where you wow. never have to say that. You have to say, take a break, <laughs> take a moment, <laughs> gotta, have, have something to eat, because everybody here, they already work their asses off all the time, and that's why people like this are successful, because they don't, people don't know that you work so long behind the behind scenes. Behind one thing. That's right, just to be able to showcase, even getting up and being here, for Milan to get up, get the family together, take care of responsibilities, and get over here. All of those things require commitment and work on the parts of people to do that. And again, I just have to yeah. say, this: when I see things like this, it inspires me. And then I look at my people and I say, well, this is why I know we're on the right track. Right. Because we're doing these, these same things. If we all get on one accord, it can happen yeah. a little faster right. than that. Yeah. That's Definitely. right. Great you guys story. guys get on top of it. Great story. Okay, now, in a related story that's scary, and I want to warn you, it's not just that a bunch of companies out there are attempting to patent genes. And you should really be upset about that because... The, the, they should, the whole question is whether you should even legally be able to patent a gene, something that's God's creation. Now, of course, when they manipulate it, what they're going to tell you is they're going to take these genes and manipulate them. What? But you need to understand that there's another technology that's coming out that, again, needs regulation. See, what happens is there's a technique called a gene drive where you take chosen genes including man-made ones mm -hmm. and you design them to be able to quickly spread through the population mm -hmm. what people don't realize is that viruses because this is a whole you're in that whole realm you learn that viruses are the smallest living particle they're essentially DNA mm -hmm. or RNA but one of those things and when they attach to the cell the virus injects its DNA RNA into the cell and takes over the cell. Hence all these things you hear talking about. What, what, what? So in many ways, it could be a healthcare boost. Imagine 
something like sickle cell where they have a known specific gene mutation that you can put that gene in a virus and give it to those people they get a cold when it cures their sickle cell wow okay so these are the potentials but the potentials also to kill you I'm shaking my head. Okay, that's the problem with these things. So now, because they're unregulated, so some scientists in, playing around his lab can mix this gene with this gene, and next thing you know, you have a world pandemic. So I wanted everybody to be aware that many in the scientific community are calling for careful regulation and oversight. The problem being, even if you have that, the feds are going to do whatever they want in their secret labs and that doesn't even count for the secret labs that are all over the world that's true so all i can tell you is pray this is scary pray this is so scary because it just reminds me of what i watched last night i don't care what nobody say <laughs> <laughs> y'all can kiss my ass on this one because this is the same method they use and even though the stuff is a little fabricated or not on jurassic part you don't know, they really have it's to based extract on yeah it is all of it but to extract DNA and try to put certain things into it as far as the strand, it, it's creepy because it's almost right in the, it's, it's straddling the fence with cloning. In well, a sense. cloning is totally possible. They've actually so, done cloning. Uh, you know. That's the religious mm. question of the day, by the way. Remember, I'm the one who mm. raised this years and years ago because I, I did it really, I really did it, did it as a as a uh, challenge to my friends in the religious community because I told them you man can create life so you have to go back and read those passages of the Bible again and see how they're being stated but I can tell you for a fact man can create life they can take and scrape your cheek and come back in a year and hand you a three month old baby the question is who's in that child you mean the soul See, that's the part I keep you know telling what? everybody that See, I know. You, 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 that you I said, the one thing they can't control people, is the human soul. That. So you can create life, but you cannot control what soul enters that life. Man can create life. They can come to this room and clone everybody well, in here. Mario, that but was it won't be Mario in that clone. It won't be Milan. It won't be Miko. You mean it'll an be, entity, right? Right. It'll be a different person. You with her, just like a twin. It'll be a different person. Now, Mika, what's crazy? Go around and ask your friends like I did oh, some crazy no. questions. I asked some of my friends who go unnamed. <laughs> I said, if we could clone you, would you mind if we cloned you and then you could have them? See, and they said, what, do you mean like to work? They said, that might be a guy. I said, well, yeah, we could clone them. You could work them, fuck them. You could do all the stuff you want to them. Would yeah, you like said that? that. And they were like, people were getting excited. So I said, you really want a slave? See, half the people out there are sick. Okay. I'll tell I remember. you what, what is that I'm, movie called where they did that for all those money, right. money people? Hold that's up. Right. And they had them underground for, you know, body replacements or any type of thing that well, was wrong with them. Organs. What was oh, that? No. Yeah. They, they, they had, the it was organs. a black market, right? Well, what was the, what was it I called? The movie. The but there's an actual movie that's out like that. And it's some well, years back. But the high bidders, the high rollers and totally. stuff like that, they were put a con they were signed a contract with this particular organization and then they were clone underground and they would keep it, them it alive and then kill them to take the parts but they didn't know what if, was if going you really on. you need a kidney you could go to different countries overseas but and what pay it did. somebody who's poor. Right. And, and they would do that. Their kidney. That's on, that's the front market. The back market was is that they're actually doing that on the black market but it's just not for the public. Right. It's These for certain groups always can and do That's occur. Ridiculous. Yeah, but see, it knocks out what Mario's talking about buying or, or paying for a live person that's living that's poor it knocks all that out if you can get your dna cloned you don't have to worry about paying somebody you you know a poor you, person you, you will pay to reclone yourself okay. in a good in a perfect well, image I'm good. and they can do you the know, clones you, you, already you, believe oh me God. this is this is common knowledge it's totally possible it has but there's been a done. lot that can go it wrong with that done. yeah that's the problem you can't control it but the, the part for you to and i had to discuss this so religious Folks, and you really don't know what you're no. getting. And I said, this has already happened, so don't say that man can't create life. Man can create life. Man is a co-creator. In other well. words, they can't control that. In other words, she has a scientist and a spiritual person. I can tell you, God don't they, make no mistakes. Right, they can do. They can. So they can play that. and manipulate with these things and be co-creators, but they can't control them. That's the problem. Like we said, 
When you clone that baby, mm -mm. who's in that? You don't know. That child? You don't You're know. You exactly you told us because that's the part where the soul. Modern science doesn't believe me. It's they don't even believe in it. Even though I can tell you that the men who discovered one of the main men who discovered your DNA, double helix. Totally oh, yeah. believes in the human soul, but he's an atheist. He doesn't believe in God. Mm -mm. See, he believes in the human soul because that's energy. Wait. Remember, they one of the tenets is energy is neither created nor destroyed. Marty, I'm gonna tell you what somebody asked me because so that's a spiritual thing let too, me, right? If God created this. energy. Let me say this. First of all, where did you come from? Two people, <laughs> and then where did they come from? The man upstairs. So he's the overall seer of everything. So I don't care how much cloning, scientific stuff that they're doing. That's bigger. The universe is bigger than this. So when you're t when you're straddling the fence with God and the creativity of right. that soul, you don't know what you're going to get. You don't know what it's going to uh, uh, evolve to. You don't know if it's going to bring out some new shit. I'm sorry. You just don't. So when you deal with that oh, part, Lord. you don't know what you're bargaining for and what you're going to get. And you don't know if you're creating a new generation, a new species, none of that. God, you you just don't. God got this thing, y'all. Yeah, that, all that's these people, not, you guys mm -hmm. are watching these movies. That's your problem. You're watching these movies and you're saying, oh, I wonder if I could do that. Leave that shit alone. Well, see, I don't hate on scientific stuff for them to get to know what could cure us, what could help us. But when you take it so far left, it's one of those questions where you go, eh. You know, that's where Scientology well, versus religion come in a clash. The problem is in many instances is that many of your very wonderful minds you, are PNC. also amoral. See, the problem is if when you play with certain kinds of technology and you're not a spiritual person, then it puts you in a position to potentially make decisions that are harmful to all of mankind. Now, these people are not people who respect God, okay, or spirituality. And those are the ones who often are playing around with these things. And that's part of the problem. Scientists too often believe in science. Right. And not God. And without that morality, that. well, I'm around, I'm just tell you, without that morality applied to science, then you're in dangerous hands. When someone is playing, remember, the I issue. I just don't want to be on nobody food. Well, I'm just saying, chain. Some, <laughs> some things they're obsessed world. with. Immortality, <laughs> the ability to be immortal, has something mm -hmm. that has been, science has been obsessed with from day one. So they work every day to get to it, to be really immortal. Scared, really scared to go to the doctor. Every, yes. time, every time a doctor walks in the room to take your blood, you to, take your, to, to draw blood from you for whatever reason, it's, it's going to start getting scary. And there's been cases like that where women would go in and try to get the fertility uh, situation done and they would take a couple of extra eggs and sell it on the black market because they're doing things. Well, to, yeah, it's so much. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff. And the specific so ones, I, I'm, the, the ones I know are a little more. We know that material has been gathered and not accounted for. We also know that historically that a lot of the teaching institutions in caring for patients with cancers gathered those tumors and the DNA. Years later, some of them have developed products on that DNA, never ever thinking to pay the folks whose materials went into that. Right. So remember, part of this has to do with the money. They will take your genes and sell it. Okay, and control it. Y'all out there, That's money part of the is not issue. everything because you wake up, you can wake up tomorrow and all the money you got can be gone. Like For I said, you can't reason, take it with you. Money does not mean Tell happiness I mean, it doesn't it doesn't it's not it's it's a piece of paper oh, people use some, so many things you can that. change things. it tomorrow and there are so many things that people will do that totally. they probably wouldn't do before because of money right. and people if you put there's a price tag on everything it's just it's ridiculous like a woman won't sell her body for five dollars but you offer her 500 grand and she's gonna do everybody you and everybody in her in your crew shut up mario Cause I see, you, I see you thinking over there. He's like, mm. that just reminded me of a joke. Uh, well, that's that's wonderful, but I tell you what, I ain't uh, five hundred grand, ten thousand, a million dollars. I'm not doing it. That's like the man who meets True. the woman in the club, and he says, "Would you sleep with me for, you know, a million dollars?" She says, "Well, a lot of people she said, would." She said, "I, I probably." She said, "Yeah, I would." He said, "Would you sleep with me for twenty dollars?" 
And she said, what the hell do you think I am? He says, well, we already decided that. We're just haggling over the price. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Everybody. See, <laughs> don't offer me. Don't do that to me. Don't offer me. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's the good news. Good one, Mario. Wow. The bad news and the other shit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, controversy. Watch out for your DNA. They have to get some of your eggs. How's your kids? How's your wife? Now, 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 now. What's the guy saying? <laughs>